All right, what's going on, guys? Today, we got a little story about Zion Williamson. Now, if you don't know who that is, he plays basketball for Duke. He is six foot seven, 284 pounds with a 40-inch vertical and a 13-inch penis. He's probably the most hyped basketball prospect since LeBron. He's going to be the number one pick in the upcoming NBA draft in June. He's also probably going to get a ridiculous shoe deal as soon as he enters the the NBA like I'd say that 100 million is a real possibility for him which is pretty unheard of for a rookie the last person to get a deal like that was LeBron so basically what I'm trying to say here is if you don't know who he is he's a pretty big deal in the sports world at least it's, it's relevant to the story so yesterday a picture surfaced of Zion and this girl well I guess more so I should say a picture surfaced of this girl Holding up a picture of Zion would be a better way to describe it. I'll put the picture up on the screen now. I do have to say it is a possibility that it's fake. However, I don't think it really matters because whether it's fake or not, it doesn't change the point that I'm trying to make. All it does is make her look even more pathetic than she already does. So for her sake, I hope it's at least real, but it doesn't take a genius to fake a caption on Snapchat. That's all I'm saying. So let's go ahead and break it down. The quality isn't great, but as you can kind of see, we have this young lady holding up her phone last laughing and on her phone you can see that she seems to have received a snap from Zion himself and he's laying down in bed and he hit her up with the I have a big room come sleep with me and this was posted by the UNC Barstool Sports account I know you're like big rivals with Duke and everything but this just wasn't it I mean the replies immediately destroyed this post they destroyed her for posting it they destroyed the account for posting it everyone was pretty much in agreement that this was pretty lame I understand a little bit why the girl would do it it, it at least made makes sense even though it's stupid but for a guy to post it man like come on man we all been there before the only difference is we're not rich and famous right I mean the man was just trying to get some ass you can't blame him for that one I mean we could definitely blame his selection you know we can question that you know maybe my guy needs some contacts or something I don't know but we all been in this situation before you know you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take that's one perspective now as far as the girls perspective on this one I want to make sure we're all clear on what actually happened here okay let's make sure there's no misunderstandings this was just a normal Tuesday night for Zion you know his horny levels were critically high code red we all been there so he said you know what I have a problem right now and I need to come up with the solution so he pulled out his phone he took this snap and he sent it to about 97 different girls you know sometimes you just gotta throw the bait out there to lure in as many fish as possible because only some of them are gonna take the bait right if you just go for one fish and that fish doesn't take the bait now your ass is about to be hungry all night right so my man Zion was famished okay he was starving he had to feed that 12 inch anaconda the snake was hungry and I guess tonight it was very very hungry because he was calling up on the bench players all right like let's be honest not trying to be mean just got to keep it real when I say this my man Zion could do a lot better than Sid from Ice Age over here okay that's all I'm saying okay this is kind of like when you see those really like heartfelt videos of when like one team is up by like 50 points in a basketball game and in the final minute of the game they put in the retarded kid who's last on the bench who's only on the team you know just to make him feel better and they put the retarded kid in and it's kind of a, a general understanding between both teams that like hey let's all try to help this guy score it would be a really cool moment right like that's kind of what happened here except instead of being grateful for the opportunity after she scored she started talking shit to the other team saying that they suck like you know calm down radio like you should just be happy to be in the game that's pretty much what happened here I don't know if that's a harsh way of putting things but let's be honest here that is what happened I don't know what she thought she was gonna gain from this like she thought she was gonna get some cool points or something like I don't know if she was expecting praise or something like you are not special you are number 96 of the 97 girls that got this exact same message shit you know what 
you probably still went over there too. You took this pic laughing with your little friends and then you walked your ass right over to his apartment. That's all I'm saying. I mean, shit, I know I would. You know, I can't blame you on that one. Gotta secure the bag, you know what I mean? I'm going over there with a condom and a paper clip. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to poke like 16 holes in that bitch. You best believe I'm getting paid for the next 18 years. Oh, number one pick in the draft? $100 million shoe deal? Hell yeah, let me poke some extra holes in that bitch. That's all I'm saying. Shit, there was probably a line outside the door of girls waiting to get in bro they were blocking the hallway that shit was a fire hazard outside his door that's all i'm saying must be nice okay i cannot relate but it must be nice he didn't even have to put in no effort either like let's be honest that's a horrible line he knows that's a horrible line like i have a big room come sleep with me like what the fuck if me or you said that shit to a girl we're getting blocked fool would have just been better off saying nothing to be honest he should have just pulled the draymond and sent out a picture of his dick okay like a bat signal just a dick signal you'll just post that big old thing up on snap see who it brings in you know what i'm saying like shit i might come in too what's up all right let me go ahead and stop a little bit we get a little excited okay the moral of the story is okay zion here is gonna be a future multi-millionaire nba superstar and this bitch is gonna graduate with about a hundred thousand dollars of student loan debt wondering why she can't get a good job with her liberal arts degree and she's gonna think back to this moment where she thought it would be cute to try to expose people on the internet when she should have been up in that room securing the bag simple as that so that's pretty much it thank you all for coming out to my ted talk i hope you learned something important today but thank you guys all for watching be sure to like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right